Welcome to the Sharkpreneur Podcast with Kevin Harrington and Seth Green. Kevin Harrington is the inventor of the infomercial, one of the original sharks from the hit TV show Shark Tank, and has generated over $5 billion in TV and digital direct response sales. Seth Green is the world's first trusted authority on cutting edge direct response marketing, a best selling author, and the only three time Marketer of the Year nominee. On the podcast, Kevin and Seth interview sharkpreneurs who share straight talk on what it takes to explode your business. 49 faces looked to him in triumph. Over the last 12 months, they had each taken turns and promoted his business for a week at a time, driving over $987,342 in revenue. What if you had a network of 50 centers of influence who promoted your business every week for a year? Grab your copy of the number one Amazon best-selling book, The Ultimate Guide to Growing Your Business with a Podcast, at 33% off the Amazon price by going to ultimatepodcastbook.com. Again, that website for 33% off the Amazon price is ultimatepodcastbook.com. Welcome to the podcast. This is your co-host, Seth Green. Today, I have the good fortune to be interviewing Ivan Vistlowski from Comrade Digital Marketing. Ivan, thanks so much for joining us. It's my pleasure, Seth. Thank you for having me. Awesome. Let's go back in time a little bit. How did you get into the digital marketing business in the first place? Oh, man, I started working for other digital marketing agencies when I was in my early 20s. I worked for many different agencies. I designed websites, coded websites, both front and back end. I project managed probably over 400 projects myself. And early on, I knew I'm going to have my own agency. I'm going, to, I'm going to have my own business. So I started asking the leadership various questions. How do you do this? How do you do that? How do you run uh, client clients successfully? How do you make sure they stay satisfied with the services, with the results and everything? How do you sell to clients? How do you calculate the profitability of your projects and so on? So I was trying to soak up as much knowledge as possible because I knew eventually this is going to be very helpful for me when I start a business. And while I was working in various agencies, I had a few projects on the side from a closed network. And together with my business partner uh, and friend, Stan, we decided to incorporate. This was around 2008, best time to start the business. Yeah. <laughs> Granted, <laughs> it went well. We, we were getting projects here and there, but I stick around like, with my full-time work for another that's three or so years because I knew I needed that knowledge. I needed to get more and more exposure. And only when we had four full-time employees, I finally jumped the ship. I told them, I sent them a resignation letter and I went to fo- you know, fully focused on my own thing. Awesome. So that's a short story of it. Yes, I'm sure the longer version could probably be in a book somewhere. Congratulations on that. But obviously you've been at it for a long time. You've seen a lot of change in the industry. Who's an ideal client for you now? Yes, our agency has been generalist agency ever since inception. But about three, four years ago, we decided that to change our strategic approach. And we're looking to specialize and find a niche where we would be really good. Ultimately, we decided that legal industry stood out because we had the most concentration of our clients in the legal space. So we went ahead and we separately opened a different brand called Grow Law Firm, which is pretty successful in the legal space right now. So we operate two agencies as of right now. And ever since AI started to make huge waves and huge changes in the industry, we started looking even more into what's going to happen in the next five years. And we figured that legal space may not be the same space in the five or six or seven years. So let's look at alternatives. Let's look at an uh, an industry that's not going to be impacted by AI as much. And so we debated a little bit and decided to open up a separate uh, division, which will focus on home services and construction specifically. So ideal, yeah, to to answer your question, ideal client would be small size businesses, local service companies specifically in legal or home service space. Awesome. We need to have a separate conversation because we have presences in both of those verticals, but probably don't do what you do. So let's talk about that. You mentioned generalist agency. So what are you doing for those law firms and those home improvement contractors? Yeah, we're a search engine marketing expert. So if 
a prospect is searching for services, we would make sure that our client would be placed in the places where the prospect they're searching for. And it's with the power of search engine optimization or paid ads. So we specialize in both. Awesome. And who is, so is there any specific area of law that you work in? There are a few main practice areas where we've been excelling. Primarily it's B2C space. We're not so good with B2B because their search behavior is very different. They might not search online for a company. Uh, so with B2C specifically, it would be personal injury firms, criminal defense firms, immigration, family law, estate, probate law, and so on. What are the biggest issues you're helping them solve? The biggest one is they're looking for a systematic way to grow. And whatever they did in the past is no longer working. So we help them sol solve the revenue problem. Essentially, that's our biggest solution for them. So what we do is we create marketing programs. We become their marketing partner to begin with. We create marketing programs. We manage marketing budgets and we leverage data approach to ensure that we drive leads that are closable at the revenues or at the, at the investments that make sense. So we analyze the profitability, the margins and so on. We analyze the ROI of our service on a monthly basis, and we deliver this information to them so that they can be making educated guesses on what to do with their marketing strategy. That is fascinating. So you had quite a track record. Can you talk a little bit about some of the results you've been able to achieve? Yeah, uh, absolutely. Specifically for legal space, um, we've been tracking our data and what we've seen is Average ROI that our clients gather within first year working with us would be 400 to 600%. So in other words, for every dollar that they invest in our services, they'll probably see four to six dollars back within a year. If they stick around longer with us, and most of them do, our retention is really high at 92% annually. The second year is even better return and it goes from there. That is one that, that speaks volumes to what you're delivering. If they're renewing at that rate, it seems like the world of marketing, the world of online is all, digital is always changing. How do you stay on top yes. of it all? Correct. So Google is the biggest dominated factor, right? We have to work with Google. So we have to understand Google and we leverage various resources, various, various topics, various publications to ensure that we understand what Google is doing, what kind of updates it's, it's making to its algorithms. But in a nutshell, the, what Google's trying to do is the same old idea, which is basically give users very useful information. All the updates that Google is making are ensuring that users are still going to get all the relevant content. Obviously, AI was immersion of AI. There's so much content that's been generated by robots. So Google is trying to protect us from that, protect us from all the copycat information and only give us what's relevant, only give us what's more or less unique. And that answers your questions that you might have. Absolutely. Talk, you've grown since you started quite a bit. Talk a little bit about the team you've put together. Yeah, currently it's 62 of us. We're, we, our headquarters is in Chicago, but we have offices in Miami and LA in addition to Chicago. Our team is growing every day. We're trying to look for A-type players. And specifically right now, we're hiring more tech advanced people so we can leverage AI uh, to automate some processes and develop some internal projects that will help us stay rele relevant to our clients and develop some of the marketing tools that will help us uh, get more traffic. That is awesome. How do you manage and maintain corporate, you know, company culture when you've got people in different places? Yeah, really good question. So early on during the interview process, we go through a three-step process. A third step being cultural interview where an individual who applies for a job goes through a one-hour interview with the key members of our team and Usually the whole purpose of this meeting is to ensure that 
the individual who's joining our team is going to be a really good cultural fit. And it works. At the end of the meeting, we get a vote from everyone who participated, whether they believe this individual is going to be a good uh, fit or not. And only if we see 75% people agree that the candidate is going to be going to work out, only then we'll send them a job offer. And it usually helps. Rarely we make mistakes when it comes to cultural hiring and culture. Your passion is obvious. What do you like best about what you're doing? I like that we help people make money. We help businesses grow and that our industry is changing rapidly and we get to stay on top of it. We're literally developing with the industry and it's a fun thing. I would not want to be in the business that's stale, that doesn't progress, that doesn't grow. I really enjoy learning every day with this industry. That is awesome. For our folks who are watching and listening and might want to learn more, where is the best place for us to send them to learn more about you? Sure. Thing. So our website would be the best tool for that. And to get to our website, it's comrade with E at the end, web.com. And my personal email is ivan at comradeweb.com. So feel free to send me an email with any questions or anything you might have in mind. All right. We greatly appreciate your time. We know it's incredibly valuable. This has been Seth Green for Sharkpreneur with Ivan Visilovsky from Comrade Web. Ivan, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you so much, Seth. Thanks My everybody pleasure. for watching or listening. We'll talk to you or see you next time. Why do so many businesses struggle while others seem to explode overnight? Do you wish you had the secret to this type of exponential growth? Now, I've scaled more than 20 businesses to over $100 million, and it's not just luck. In my new book with Mark Tim, Mentor to Millions, you'll learn the repeatable framework I use in all my business ventures for massive success. Order at KevinMentor.com and get over $1,000 in bonuses. Head to KevinMentor.com.